And on today's video, we're going to look at one ingredient that is very, very effective when it comes to growing your hair longer. You are going to be mind blown by the benefits of this particular oil. Sit back, relax, and do not skip the videos because I am going to explain in details why and how you need to use this particular oil. My name is Muriel. I am a content creator based in Kenya. And thank you so much for those who always take the time to come back and watch my videos. And for those who are new, thank you so much also. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So that you saw was my daughter's hair. Her hair was really not doing so well until I started using these natural remedies on her hair. And her hair is really, really flourishing. It is longer and it is healthier. And today we are going to look at this particular ingredient, which is Moringa. Moringa is a herb that has been used for centuries because of its health benefits and medicinal value. And Moringa has been one of the favorite herbs that I have included in my daughter's hair regime, mostly. And her hair has really, really been flourishing. That is why I decided to come and show you guys about this magic um, powder or rather this magic treatment. I'm also going to be sharing the benefits of Moringa on your hair and also the nutritional value of Moringa and how it is linked to hair growth. And also I'm going to be explaining how to use this Moringa powder to help you grow your hair longer or rather just promote hair growth. So do not skip the video. Please watch the video up to the end. Also comment down below and tell me if you, you're going to make this oil, please comment down below and tell me how it works for you. And if you know any other benefits of this particular powder please comment down below and let us learn as we go so i'm just going to start with the benefits of moringa moringa contains vitamin a and also the vitamin b which is very 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 important when it comes to nourishing your hair and also promoting hair growth so the the two vitamins a and b are very very important when it comes to helping your hair grow longer because vitamin a supports hair growth and also plays a very vital role in the development of healthy cells and tissues in the body body and it also reduces hair loss so the vitamin a and b are very very essential when it comes to helping your hair grow longer Moringa also contains the vitamin C's and also the E, which are very, very powerful antioxidants. And this vitamin C is very important when it comes to combating the damage. If you already have it is called the dandruffs, it is, it is going to combat the damage and the vitamin E is going to help repair the damage. So these three or rather four vitamins are very, very important to your scalp. Moringa also contains the omega-3s, which is very, very important when it comes to nourishing your hair. And also it plays a major part in maintaining a healthy hair. Moringa also contains essential amino acids, which are very important, particularly when it comes to hair growth. And these amino acids are found in plenty in Moringa. And some of them are just the cythine. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing them correctly. And also the lysine which are very, very important and they are in abundant in Moringa and they're going to help your hair grow longer. So I am as I am explaining, I'm going to be showing you how to make this oil and you're going to get a clean jar. Very clean, make sure your jar is dry. It, doesn't, it shouldn't have any water because water will make your oil go bad very easily. And I'm going to measure just a tablespoon of the Moringa powder. You can use either more or less. It, it, it actually depends with just the amount of oil that you're going to make. So as for me, I used a, a full tablespoon of, of Moringa. And then now I'm going to add in my olive oil. Also, olive oil is very important. Also, when it comes to helping your hair grow longer. So I'm going to be using olive oil as my carrier oil today. And I'm going to add into the Moringa powder. I'm just going to shake it just to make sure that everything is... You know, I'm just going to shake to mix everything up. And then we're going to close our jar and you're going to do the double boiler method. If you are not, if you do not understand the double boiler method, this is where you take a pan, put in water, and then you're going to put your glass jar in the water so that not we do not lose the nutrients from the moringa and also the oil. So we're going to boil them. This is what is called the double boiler method. So you're going to boil them under very low heat for 15 minutes. And while it's boiling, just make sure you come check and give it a shake just to mix everything up. 
So just keep checking and make sure when you're coming to check, you shake it and then just put it back to the pan and make sure you're boiling it under very, very low heat. So this is how it looks like. This is how the oil looks like after I placed this somewhere and it, I made sure that it was cool. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to get my wig cap. You can actually use a sieve, but I prefer using the wig cap because with the wig cap, the particles will not pass through. And I'm going to use this cup because it is easily, I can easily fold it so that I can transfer to my applicator bottle. So this is my wig cup and I'm just going to pour the oil out and sieve it. You do not want these particles in your hair. They are very, very stubble, stubborn to come out. So just make sure that you are using a very, very, um, if you're using, you're going to use a sieve, that just make sure that the holes are very, very tiny. And if you have watched this video up to this particular point, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also like the video, because if you like the video, YouTube usually um, refers this to anyone that is going to need it. So please like the video. You can also share with your friends and comment down below and tell me, what do you think about this particular video? What do you think about Moringa? If you know any other importance or the benefits of this particular oil, please comment down below and tell me. So this is where I'm going to be store my I'm going to store my oil. I still have this oil in the house which we are still using it. So I'm just going to, to be storing this one here. And this is how it looks like. So the zinc, the amino acids. And also the vitamin C and E are very, very powerful, very, very effective um, things that you're going to need for your hair. So I would really, really encourage anyone that is suffering from dandruffs, hair thinning and anything to use this particular oil. So on the next uh, method on how you're going to use Moringa powder, you're going to take your honey, make sure it is very organic. For the one I'm using, I actually pressed it out myself. I got it out of the, you know, the bee comp. I hope I'm saying it correctly. So just make sure that your honey is very, very organic. And then you're going to add your Moringa powder inside the um, honey and you're going to shake. I mean, you're going to just make sure that you're mixing everything up very, very well. So we are, we are going to make a mask. And you're going to be using this mask at least twice a week. Especially for those who are suffering from dandruffs, this is a very good treatment for you. And then you're going to add your olive oil. I didn't measure the olive oil I used because I just wanted you guys to see how I do it. So just make sure that you're mix mixing everything up very, very well. Keep mixing until the paste is you know, just nicely mixed it, mixed. And then you're going to add in water into our paste, and then you're still going to stir. So this hair mask, you're going to be using it at least twice a week, especially for those who are suffering from dandruffs. But if you do not, uh, you're not suffering from dandruffs, just you can actually use it once a week, and then you're going to cover, after you apply it on your head, you're going to cover it with a shower cap for 30 to 45 minutes and then you'll be good to go. So this is how I incorporate uh, Moringa in my daughter's hair regime, and it has been working so well for her. You can see the consistency. This is very easy to make, guys. Please comment down below and tell me if you have made this oil. And also, if you have watch, you're watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to our channel, and you are not going to regret. You're going to learn how to grow your hair longer. You're going to Learn how to take care of your natural hair and I really, really appreciate. Thank you so much guys for watching and God bless you. And for the returning subscribers, Nawapenda Sana, which means I love you so much. See you on the next one.